let's look at some additional snapshot tools. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is go to queue out, stop all this madness. And I'm going to set us up in snapshot three to see what that looks like. So now that that's set, I'm just going to add a couple of additional tabs on top of my snapshot, maybe add a patch tab, maybe add a groups tab. Right, so we have just additional tabs now that are open in this space. And let's go ahead and say record snapshot three and just look at some of the options here. Uh, you'll notice that we can touch and deselect any of our monitors and that will allow us to only record uh, the other monitor. I'm gonna touch that back on to be included. So on the right hand side, we have the ability to include certain components. At the very top is visible workspaces and all workspaces. So you can select either just the workspaces that are currently visible to you on all of your monitors or the configuration of all of the workspaces, whether they're visible or not. If we want to include faders, encoders, or our direct selects, we can use those checkboxes to include them right there and you can also include your CIA favorite if you choose. We can also include our filter states as a part of a snapshot, and we'll look at those a little bit later on. You can also assign a button color. So you can see here that we have different options to decide which emitters turn on. So if this snapshot is mapped to a physical button or to a direct select, that will be the color that it uses to illuminate that button. I'll leave that dark for now. And finally, you get the granularity to select just individual components. So you'll see at the top we have monitors. We can go down and deselect or select frames or even individual tabs. And below that, we have the ability to include our master fader pair and our faders. And with both of those, we have the ability to decide whether we're storing just the content mapping or also the state of that content when the snapshot is recorded. In your faders area, you can include wing groups if you've set those up for external fader wings. And if you use timecode and are using the top bar preview, you can decide to include or exclude that from your snapshot. So for today, I'm just going to come in and uncheck my patch and my group list. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter and enter again to re-record over this snapshot. And you'll notice that those tabs are still up, but when I recall snapshot three, it has not included them in our snapshot. Another useful part of snapshots is the ability to change just a single tab's population. So for example, I may want to change just what's in the direct select. So I'm gonna change this from being groups to being focus palettes. And I'm going to record snapshot six and I'm going to deselect everything and only select my frame to with my 4.2 direct select and I'm going to hit enter. So I'll recall snapshot three and if I recall snapshot six, that's only changing that one tab. So from there, I'm going to go to my snapshot four and because this is going to change my 4.2 tab, when I hit snapshot six, enter, it takes just my tab 4.2 and puts it to focus palettes at 10 by five. Keep in mind when I record a snapshot, it's gonna show up on the command line and that allows me to type a target number and do a label. But when I am recalling just a snapshot, it's not going to show up on the command line so it doesn't interrupt my work. You'll notice it shows up in the same area that macros show up. So I can type snapshot one Enter, and that will get me that snapshot. Just like any other target, if I want to open the snapshot list, I can double hit the snapshot button, or I can add a tab. And this allows me to see all the snapshots that I have in my file, and I can also label them here. So for example, snapshot six, label, direct select change, enter. We can also determine which snapshots will show up in our snapshot pop-up, so by default, all of my snapshots will show up in this area, and I can pop it up and quickly select them. However, I can turn the favorite column off 
and that will prevent them from showing up in that area. So I'm gonna say snapshots two through four, enter, and that'll grab all of them. And I'm gonna say favorite, enter. You'll notice that that turns them off. And now when I grab my snapshot pop-up, only one and six show up. So that allows me to reduce just the ones I want quick access to.